Gentlemen. Hello everybody and welcome to SMRA Nashville 2017. And um, I'm not really going to be doing a proper intro for racing. First I'm just going to say something. I'm posting a few things on the screen right now. You, you people, you know who you are because your names are on the screen right now. But I, please explain. Like, I don't see the issue here. Like, I don't know what your problem with my racing is. I get the whole holding the gas and brake thing at the start may bug people, but we both mutually agree that's how we're going to do it. And if you ever listen to a real monster truck, they get the engine at high RPMs right before they leave the gate. So, oh, that's not completely unrealistic. Now, the thing that bugs me is, why do you say we're bad racers? Why do you say we need to learn how to race? I'd like to know. Just... I mean, me, I can't understand. Like, I don't really understand. care. I don't really care what you guys say. But I just want to have a reason instead of just, oh, you're bad. Like, give me a reason so that I can improve. It's not helpful if you just say you're bad or something. But, uh... Anyways, I'm done ranting now. Um, hopefully for this video we'll fix whatever that is. Oh, biggest thing I want to address is just because in a race, when you come around a corner and you get to counter steer, oh, it's hack steering, bro, I'm a league, hack steering, league. No, shut up. That's a league thing. I'll post a clip of a monster truck right now, hack steering in real life. That's not a problem, okay? I don't care if you follow league rules, but, you know, don't criticize down to that little fine of a point if that's what it's come to. Now that I've done my rant, how's about we go line up for our first round of Nashville here today. Three, two, one, go! So I am running a hook pickup truck right now and Dan is in... What's that truck? Dan Rising came? Now this track is not like your standard oval track. This track actually involves this little thing called skill. Which I don't have. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the Because each lane is different. So you have to have different skills to deal with that lane. Oh, How Jesus. The... Are you over? No. Oh, oh. Uh, and I'm out. I started across the line, which is not going so smoothly for me right now. Remember, the finish line, Dan, isn't all the way till it crosses orange poles at the end of that jump. And hope we'll advance to the next round. The next matchup will be Ray's, my bad, Dirt Crew versus Traxxas SST. Yep. Let's see you in a race. Alright, count us down, Dan. Three. Two, go! Do you ever feel like a plastic bag or think you're not? I think you're stuck again. Dirt Crew is getting a bit clumsy back here. He just wants to take a lead. Are we doing themes during, um, during wheelies and stuff? Yes, that is going to be a thing, everybody. Wheelies during themes. Oh, wait. Themes during Two wheels. wheels. There are two wheels, Dan, not wheelies. Ooh. Traxxas is going to take home the win. Dirt Crew a close second of the airs of that. Out. This matchup will consist of Bigfoot versus Mohawk Warrior. Are you ready, Mohawk Warrior? Mohawk Warrior is ready. Go ahead, count us down. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it seems that like someone's spawning coming in. Oh my lord. If my game has the same motion for attack, oh Jesus Christ. I think I don't know about uh -huh. I don't know, Bigfoot just spun out pretty bad on the second turn.
I am in and the wrong way. Penalty. Three, two. There's no. Why would? What kind of three second penalty did you have for? I hit that jump. What to jump? It was a jump on hit by accident. And um, Bigfoot takes on the win. I don't know what jump you hit, but I don't know why there would be a penalty for it. But okay. Um. Anyways, yeah, Bigfoot will advance to the next round. Dude, I am ready, Dan. Are you? Whenever you're ready, count us down. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oops, I jumped the line a bit. I slowed down, though. Dead even across the finish line the first time. We'll see how that varies throughout the track today. This is a very competitive race track here, because both the instructors really want to advance. Oh, geez, I don't know about Cody Saucier. He just hit something and starts flipping around. Oh, geez. What happened? I'm up on two wheels right now. Or I was. Ooh, it's a very close race and almost neck and neck. And Cody can't turn his fucking wheels and Cody flips over and it's and his turtles. And is it over for Cody then? Cody is over. Lucas or Crusader will advance to the next round as Cody is flipped over. But Lucas Oil has a pretty bad wreck that will set him out mechanically, which means Cody Saucier will advance. It's a step up. Let's get right into All this. Right, are you ready to count us down? Three! Jester versus Altaro Loco. Two, one, go! Now keep in mind, Jester is a very slow track. But Altaro is very fast, which is exactly a good thing. My wheels wouldn't turn, that was fun. Yeah, slow actually may be a good thing for you, Dan. Oh no. Oh no. El Toro Loco had a huge wreck, but he's still around. I think it's safe to say Jester will take home the win on this race. Jester will advance this round. Let's get right into this race. Son of a Digger versus Grave Digger. I'm Three, ready. two, one, go! Very bad start for Gravedigger because his gearing was not correct, but Son of a Digger is not in a much better position. This race is also going to be all out. As Son of a Digger has a huge lead right now. Oh jeez. So far not so good for Gravedigger as we've surpassed one of the two final turns of the race. Gravedigger is pulling ahead right now though. Uh, somebody has to do the crossover underneath. Green Digger's crossing the finish line. Green Digger will take home the win on that race. And that was a very close race indeed. That was super close, super exciting for all the fans. Indeed, for all the ones on my channel. We will we see you guys in the, the next round. Uh, I'm ready. This is round two. Hoax versus Traxxas. Three, two, one, go! Vroom vroom. I can't tell quite who is the lead in midair. So far it almost looks neck and neck, but this is gonna change it. Well, every, that changes it, but it comes back to being neck and neck once I go through that part, so. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a very close race, I can tell. Not really. Trax hasn't even gone over the run. Jump it. Oh, jeez. It seems like Hook has made a big mistake as well. As Trax just takes the lead. Yeah, but it can still change the anchor they recovered.
And trucks can't turn his back wheels. Traxxas oh. SST will take home the win. As Hook takes the second place trophy there, but it was pretty darn close. We both had two major mess ups. Next round. Ooh. Next round will be Bigfoot versus Monster Energy Cody. Indeed. After our quick sponsor switch, we are here with Monster Energy Mutant and um, Bigfoot. Monster Energy Mutant should be running back to normal Monster Energy next time we see him, whether it be next round or in the wheelies. Depending on if he gets knocked out here by Bigfoot, so go ahead and count us down, Dan. Three, two, one, go! It seems like you had one just a little bit. That was a very close one. Why won't my back wheels turn? I had the same issue. I don't even need to turn for the whole turn, just long enough so I can flick myself around and drift it, but... Right now, it looks like Bigfoot has a pretty big lead, but Indeed. I don't know. That can all change in a matter of seconds as we found out with Hooked versus... Who did I just first? I completely forget. I have no Hooked versus... That's what I was feeling Bigfoot is going to take Traxxas. Bigfoot will advance to the next round. As mutant will be knocked out of this. Mm. Here's the uh, next round before semifinals. Count us down, Dan, whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go! Brave Diggers really fast. Falling behind a little bit, but as we saw with hooks, this would all change. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to because now they're almost neck and neck, but in this turn, it's going to change everything. Once and Gravy will advance to the next round. Very close matchup between Jester and Grave Digger. Right into this race, Bigfoot versus Traxxas. Are you ready, yeah. Bigfoot? Yeah, thanks for the countdown before you started your video, by the way. Anyways, Three, go ahead. Three, two, one, go! Bad landing for Bigfoot off of the first one. Oh no, I hack steered! Oh no! My back wheels won't turn, yay! Bigfoot and Traxxas SST are neck it. Why won't my back wheels turn neck and neck right now? As they cross the line for their first lap, Bigfoot takes a huge spill, but he's still in the race. He's back. Oh my goodness, Traxxas is up on the side on his roof. I think that may put him out unless he gets back on wheels somehow. And I am turtled. Oh, nope, nope, oh, I can still get up. Traxxas will finish this race. Yeah, after respawning himself, I saw that. Got him. Bigfoot advances to the next round. Here comes Alright, here comes Dan. Here comes Gravity. Here's my run. Dan, count me down whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, go! Gravedigger very booming through his Byron. And yes, Gravedigger does get a Byron, just by the way. Oops. Gravedigger does get a Byron, by the way, the lineup turned out. And the final round will consist of Gravedigger versus Bigfoot USA, driven by Dan. Once again, the way the lineup played out. Mm-hmm. Grave Digger just has to complete his buy run. In some nice air. If Grave Digger does tip during his buy run or break, Bigfoot will automatically take home a win. I guess. 
taken away. All right, and Gravedigger wins his bye run. If Bigfoot could come out onto the track and line up for the finals, that would be wonderful. This is the final race of the night. Let's see what Bigfoot can pull off. Hopefully Bigfoot could pull off at a great win against Gravedigger. Three, two, one, go! Off the start, Gravedigger got a slight edge. Very slight, though. Yeah, like very, very slight. Bigfoot makes an amazing turn there. That was oddly amazing. I know, being that it's driven by me. And a very wide turn. As they come back across the line, neck and neck. <laughs> it often comes down to a single turn. As the back wheels do not want to turn on Bigfoot. Gravedigger will cross here. This could be the win for Gravedigger. And Bigfoot does spin a little bit, and Gravedigger will take home. Gravedigger the win will for take the home win. the final win, leaving the opportunity to get event champion and or double down with freestyle and racing wins. Indeed. Congratulations to Gravedigger and congratulations to Bigfoot for getting second and Tracks SST to getting third. Good night, we'll see you guys. Yep, and this is going to be uploaded just like East Rutherford. Three days, three videos. Um, anything else to say, Dan? Nope. Just hope hey. you all enjoyed. And people on my channel, make sure to go sub to ERH Minor on ERH channel. So I do. Today, I, I do have one thing to say to okay. both of our fans, Dan. Okay. If they do so want to criticize our racing, instead of just saying everything like, you're bad, learn how to race, etc., tell us the reason why so we can fix it, okay? And like the person who was very nice on my video and told me the problem of mine. Like your disabled camera pitching that you didn't fix yet? But I did. Anyways. Okay. We'll, we'll see you in your newest video. Yep. Peace out, everybody. Peace out.